I'm Kevin Williams with Intel. I'm a platform architect in our Intelligent Platform. Intelligent Platform Solutions. And can you tell me a little bit about the demo we're going to see? Yes, we have a building automation demo where we've integrated IBM's Informix into the Intelligent Gateway solution from Intel. Um, we have basically a building here that has many different systems. It has a working HVAC system, an elevator system, and all of these systems through a web interface, which is nice and all, but we also want to showcase how with the Intelligent Gateway Solution, you can uh, monitor a system and then interact with all of these system in a, systems in a coordinated fashion. So we have a temperature sensor here. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is kick off a fire scenario and see a simulation of a, an evacuation of the building where with on our laptop over here, we have a monitor of the occupancy of the building, and that's all being driven by IBM's Informix that's embedded on our gateway. So as you can see here, we shut down the ventilation system, kicked off some emergency lighting, returned the elevator to the first floor, and opened the front doors. And as you look over onto the system with IBM's Informix, now you can see in real time um, an evacuation going on in the building and each of those graphs represents a floor of the building. So in the end when at the point where say EMS shows up you can have uh, a good insight into where people may be left in the building and the occupancy of each floor. In the end, it's, it's really about compute and control, being able to monitor different systems, being able to interact with disparate systems where you think about a building as an example and many other types of um, vertical or other markets is you have all these systems that usually are proprietary, they don't talk to each other. Um, if I wanna interact with all of these systems, I have to go to each of these different interfaces and utilizing a, a Intelligent Gateway from um, Intel, you can actually interact with these different systems. But um, at Intel, we are working on a protocol abstraction layer that um, will be a building block to help um, look, you know, think about all the protocols that are out there, right? We, we want to be able to provide a building block that allows you to, you know, if you want to get information from BACnet or Modbus or these other, all these other protocols, we want to take and have a um, abstraction layer that you don't have to know all that stuff. It, it gives you connectivity into it. So if you want to open up um, this information to say an emergency response or to um, you know, a different entity, it will be easy to do. Okay. You can build intelligence into the gateway itself to, um, like you said, you may not want to, you, you, you'll want to get some, what you think, what you deem is important data to the cloud, right? Um, but you may lose connectivity. So yes, having data at the edge and being able to access that data is important. Um, also, the other side of that is data, some data that, you, there's some data you don't really care about, right? You might just want to look at, like you say, the exceptions and then message out, whether it's um, through, through our gateways, you can message out using Epona, um, you can do you know, telco type messaging, um, there's, there's lots of different ways you can send out notifications depending on the use cases and the intelligence you place at the edge. Um, so a person doesn't necessarily have to go and read, you know, read something out to say, hey, were there any exceptions here? You, they could just get who's ever on that list, notification list, they get notifications if these are specific things that you're looking for. Again, thank you all for attending this and uh, if you have any other questions, come up and see me. Thank you. Sure.